You remember the story about Paul Pelosi uh, and NBC put this, they put out uh, this report. The Spoiler alert, they fired this guy. But, suspended. Or suspended him. But watch this. So watch the report. So remember, there was all these conflicting reports about what happened with Paul Pelosi. And then they said they have some information that contradicted the police report. Watch this. Craig, good morning. When officers arrived here at the Pelosi home exactly a week ago today, they initially didn't have any idea exactly what was going on. They knew they had a high priority call on their hand. What was unclear, what was happening inside the property just behind me. This morning, Paul Pelosi is home, back at the house that became a crime scene a week ago today. First of all, I want to back this. BC. So if you break into the house, why is all the glass on the outside? That's the first mm. question that people have. Why mm. is all the glass on the... If I'm hitting a window, the gla I've broken windows, by the way. I've broken windows of my neighbors. <laughs> so I, you break their window, uh, the, it all goes inside. It doesn't come outside. So that's right away suspicious. But here we it go. It kind of looks like a lubed hammer flew out of your hand. I just, uh, you know, no, I'm not an investigative journalist. A week ago today, NBC News learning new details about the moment well, police new arrived. details. Sources familiar with what unfolded in the Pelosi. I love the way the guy talks, how reporters yeah, talk. Pelosi <laughs> the new details about what happened. <laughs> it's so fucking amazing. They Is all that the same guy? Yes. He has a really different voice than his opening Yeah, I, right? I know. The residents now revealing when officers responded to the high-priority call, they were seemingly unaware they'd been called to the home of the Speaker of the House. What? Let's say they were unaware. That must have been the craziest call. <laughs> You're like, wait... <laughs> Wait, Wait is, this what? A, is this the third most powerful person in the fucking world? Hey, Sounds stop hitting him with that hammer, you. <laughs> <laughs> After a knock and announce, the front door was opened by Mr. Pelosi. The 82-year-old did not immediately declare an emergency or tried to leave his home. So that's big news. So that was the big part of the news they didn't want out, that when the cops came, Paul Pelosi didn't go, thank God you're here, save me. He just went, how you doing? Come on in but instead began walking several feet back into the foyer toward the assailant and away from police. It's unclear if the 82-year-old was already injured or what his mental state was, say sources. According to court documents, when the officer asked what was going on, defendant smiled and said everything's good. But instantaneously, a struggle ensued as police clearly saw David DePap strike Paul Pelosi in the head with a hammer. After tackling the suspect, officers rushed to Mr. Pelosi, who was lying in a pool of blood. What we do know is he brutally attacked Mr. Pelosi yeah, that's, and attempted to kill him. Yeah, we all know that part. And wasn't shot immediately it, it, like right, anybody else? Right. Why did you guys shoot him right away? Anyway, after spending several days in the ICU, Pelosi, who is recovering from a fractured skull and serious injuries to his arm and hand, is now home where Capitol Police remain on alert. Investigators have previously said Pelosi did not know DePap when the 42 year old broke into his home. <laughs> Why Pelosi didn't try to flee or tell responding officers he was in distress is unclear. Fear takes over. Fear freezes people. This morning, the 82-year-old, lucky to be alive after an intruder nearly killed him in his own home. Law enforcement, tell, law enforcement officials tell us the bottom line here is this was a terrifying situation. We still don't know exactly what unfolded between Mr. Pelosi and the suspect for the 30 minutes they were alone inside that house before police arrived. Officials who were investigating this matter would not go into further details about these new details. 30, so they were alone 30 minutes in the house. Cops show up. So this, so by the way, so we know all this. I thought, I thought we covered this already, but apparently yeah. I can't find the video. Oh, really? On our channel. I can't find it. I don't know if it's, it's kind of spooky. You better pray for Paul Pelosi. <laughs> <laughs> he goes up with the hammer. <laughs> 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 
What's the word she says all the time? Lure, a pair's of lure. A lure. Yeah. How does she say it? <laughs> a lure. A lure. You got to clench your teeth. So guess what? They fired this guy for doing that report. Suspended. 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 I mean, they suspended him. NBC News reporter Miguel Almaguar oh suspended. God. So they first they took that. First of all, the story went up. Then they immediately took it down. And they wouldn't say why. They, didn't, they wouldn't say what they got wrong or what he said was wrong. They just said it didn't meet our standards. <laughs> they have no standards. And you don't get in trouble for lying in corporate news. You only get in trouble for telling the truth. And so they immediately took it down, and then they suspended him. And why did they suspend him? Because according to them, somebody was spreading misinformation about Paul Pelosi. Oh. You better pray for Paul Pelosi, pal. Now say it 12 times fast and rub lube all over your hammer if you know what I mean. <laughs> and you better not know what I mean or you're fired. Like a rosary. Like a ro <laughs> so that guy does that report. The report contradicted court documents filed in DePepe's case that said Pelosi nervously but calmly greeted officers in a dimly lit foyer where both men stood. It was later taken down with the explanation the piece should not have aired because it did not meet NBC News reporting standards. Did I miss how that contradicted the court documents, by the way? <laughs> what? How does that contradict? the? It says Paul calmly but nervously greeted of officers, not nervously and calmly. <laughs> And how the fuck does one nervously but calmly <laughs> what, what? do anything? <laughs> it's like saying Paul Pelosi's dick was floppily rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. It, okay. <laughs> we don't comment. So then an NBC News where they're asking, well, why are you suspending the guy? They go, we don't comment on personal personnel matters. Yeah, but. You didn't comment on why you took down the goddamn thing in the first place. I mean, so there's more to it. What, I don't understand the contradiction in the police. Whether they, they, he leave out the part that the guy's a huge Jimmy Dore fan. <laughs> no, maybe the contradiction was that uh, Paul Pelosi answered the door. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, in the in the police report it said that a third person, because that was the original story, was that a third person answered the uh, door. Right. Yeah, it, it, it said so on bizarre. the NBC. It said on the NBC clip that they found him in a pool of blood. A pool of blood. <laughs> How, so the cops, he, are, the cops are there. He's not bleeding. Two seconds later, he's in a pool of blood. Pool Doesn't of it blood. take a while for a pool of blood to amass? Wait, what do they call him in from Uvalde for this right. non action? <laughs> right. Is it so? That was weird. So they show up. He's not bleeding. And then when the cops actually save him, he's in a pool of blood already. That doesn't make any sense. Well, the guy. You know what else doesn't make sense? Go ahead. Well, Jack. Well, how, how did David DePappy end up in the hospital? No one's asking that question. No one asks that question. No one, and no one has an interview of any of it, and nobody involved. Nobody has an interview of the cops. Nobody has an interview of Paul Pelosi. Nobody has an interview of DePappy. No. It's just so, it could be literally, look, I, I don't know. The thing is so crazy is to make a cover up of a thing. People do all kinds of crazy stuff when they're panicked, right? Like uh, Stockholm syndrome. Uh -huh. Maybe there's a Pelosi syndrome where you identify with your hammer intruder. I don't know. But if you're going to hide it, it really just makes it why, look really worse. Yeah, why wouldn't you just be giving interviews left and right? Why would you not want to talk about it? Why, if it, why would you not want to talk about it? That Why would you want to cover it up? Why would you take down that news report? And why would they suspend that guy? Because the Pappy supposedly didn't say, oh, he owes me money. It's some kind of right. hustler thing. He said, I had to show Nancy Pelosi a letter. Now, maybe he didn't say that and they're saying it. I didn't hear him say yeah, it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, we don't know. But That's what he, they say. He his said. official interview. He's not saying that he knew Paul. Pel it's just strange as hell, man. Paul Pelosi. My yeah. Paul would you, never do that. You don't think it was. Jesus, guy, you look like shit, man. What happened? I don't know. I got fucking wasted last night, <laughs> and uh, my phone says I texted someone at 3.15 asking them to beat me up, and then uh, at 4.30 I texted the same person saying thanks. And you don't remember it? No, same as last time. <laughs> it just seems kind of gay, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Well, do you think you're part of some, like, gay beat-up underworld? Like one of those gay beat-up clubs or something? <laughs> I know. I did chicks, man. I don't remember any of it. I was so fucked up. I might be gay. I don't know. Hey, do you mind covering for me for a bit? I might go lay down in the john. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the funniest goddamn things. Patrick Warburton, fan of pussy, is the show I do with Kyle. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Can you believe that 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 first of all that that sketch even exists already? Yeah, because the Simpsons thing I now understand. But what Simpsons thing? Flat circle. The 2010 Simpsons clip you played of oh, cat feline flu or whatever the hell. Yeah, of them pl- planning COVID. And also, I have a long-standing thing that Fight Club is like a, rom- a romantic gay comedy for straight men. Ultimately. So it was supposed to be. So uh, Tyler. So what? What was the guy's name? Tyler Durden. Yeah, that was Brad Pitt. Right, Brad Pitt, and he's fighting himself in the parking lot. Right, so Brad Pitt was supposed to be an unconscious projection of. He goes, "I dress how you want to dress. I act like you want to act. I fuck like you want to fuck." So remember, pa- yeah. Brad Pitt's with the girl. He goes, "You want to come in?" And Edward's like, "Ew, can't we just hang out? Why is a girl?" He- the whole thing is is like yeah. clearly. It's like he's his alter ego, and I don't think it was consciously written that way. I just think Chuck Palahniuk, who's a uh, a gay guy, it was like subconsciously came out because, dude, none of my black friends were like, oh. Fight club. They, black movies aren't like we need to start fighting more. <laughs> like that's the real white, emasculated, and then possibly a subtext of gay, real Spartan stuff. You know? Yeah. So that, that so that was so okay. Anyway, um, it's quite a sketch. <laughs> it's quite a sketch. Even screwed up the head at one point on there, and I don't. Care I know it's good material. What movie is this from? From Ted, probably Ted one or two. Oh, really? Which are pretty deep, funny movies. I, I saw both of them funny. Yeah. Isn't that funny how that could be funny? Like I how know. you don't just go, this is stupid, but it you, it actually works. I don't know why, but I don't want to see actual Seth MacFarlane and things. I like him writing it and get Marky Mark to do it. That's why the Western one didn't work for me. And Patrice said, said toward the rose, like, I'm sick of seeing you on the <laughs> like, Just let your cartoons. Yeah. All but right. That's great. What? Okay. Jackson, are you in any underground gay beat up clubs? Not I be- yeah, I don't think Soho Do else qualifies. <laughs> but uh <laughs> Yo, you want a fight club after Jordan Peterson next time? <laughs> we'll we'll go with the guy, the self help guy, the self help guru. We'll see you November 19th and 20th in Austin, Texas. November 26th, that's the Saturday after Thanksgiving in Burbank. And then all December, we're going to be in Los Angeles doing Friday night shows. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all the tickets and become a premium member. While you're there, you get all of our videos unedited. jimmydoor.com, not Jimmy Door Comedy.